All right, so what I want to talk to, uh, about today is using GWT in a traditional web development environment. Um, so I guess let's start with why do this, because GWT, as you guys may know, is a Google Web Toolkit. It is meant to be used as a standalone framework for development web tools, uh, web, web applications. The reason we are doing it, though, is because <coughs> Our existing development team consisted of Java developers and HTML developers. Really, no one who really knows uh, JavaScript or particularly want to learn JavaScript. So we feel it's easier for to get the Java team to essentially learn what is another Java framework than to try to figure out, say, jQuery or Scriptaculous or whatever. Um, there are also other benefits that are listed at the Google Web Toolkit page, like um, high-performance JavaScript, so they claim. Um, and the fact that the generated JavaScript tends to be cross-browser compatible, and they have a consistent manner for you to basically make your own components um, cross-browser compatible. Now, the problem we had, though, is that GWT, because it was meant to be used as a standalone platform, um, works best in an environment where you essentially don't do a lot in HTML. You have, essentially, they prefer like very sparse or empty, or even just a HTML with just a body and a div tag. And they like to like essentially insert all the components in there, like insert a button here, insert text boxes. You do that programmatically in GWT. Whereas, um, from a traditional web development standpoint, it's more like developers, HTML developers, making pages, and they like to tweak it. They like it to be, you know, pixel perfect and stuff. <clears throat> and to do this though in GWT is actually possible, because really what GWT does is it just picks a, like a div tag with a specific ID and just insert stuff in it. And, and that's all it is. However, there are problems with this that we ran into. The two main ones are that GWT, while it allows you to insert like one module to insert stuff into a single or multiple uh, blocks, it is difficult to use multiple modules within a single web application. And that, that hurts reuse because that makes it harder for you to do reuse. Um, it also doesn't work well with existing HTML elements, though that has changed in uh, GWT 1.5. As in, if, if, if your HTML developers like, came out with a text box or whatever, and they get, got it perfect, you can't make it a GWT widget easily. Well, you can, but it's not, yeah, it's not clear. So to solve the first problem of um, loading multiple modules, essentially what we do is quite simply um, using the composite pattern. So essentially a module that consists of multiple modules, so you call the main module and it basically um, um, delegates to the other modules one by one. Again, um, SQL diagram, it just basically loops through all the um, component <coughs> modules and call the, the um, module loops one by one. Um, second thing is integrating with existing HTML elements. While GWT loves, does let you do that now in GWT 1.5, um, we didn't have that in 1.4, so we actually wrote like essentially a factory class that um, you say, for instance, get checkbox, you pass in an ID, which is the um, HTML ID. It will essentially wrap that checkbox in a GWT component, which you can do whatever you want with in a GWT environment. All right, sorry. So I'm going to do a few demo now. So first, I wanted to show you guys, this would be a, basically a website without GWT integration. The way we do this is, um, again, just plain HTML code. You'll notice that I've commented out for, for the time being the, the, the script that basically pulls in the GWT code. Um, again, body um, H1, we actually have an empty div tag here so that we can insert our GWT component. And this is another example of existing HTML stuff that um, the GWT will attempt to integ uh, integrate with. So again, you'll see that the, it, this does nothing right now. It's just a text box. Now let me try. Oh, I'm too much. Oops. Pressure. Okay, let's see if it took effect right away. Okay. I did. Yep. So this is now with GWT. Um, built in. So you'll notice that in the div blog it inserted a GWT component that we had written. It changes the text size. And also now we've got um, code comp um, sorry, autocomplete for. So that's all done in GWT. 